We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. Chris K. Recently got exposed um, on some doctor's disrespect time. Uh, he was texting a minor. Um, at first, he thought she was 19. Um, and then she. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doctor disrespect time. Well, that's, that's what it's called now? That's, well, that's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. He was texting a minor in, in the DMs. And at first, he thought he was she was 19. At that time, he was probably 21, 22. Um, and she quickly told him that he was 17. And he proceeded to go in and text even more go crazy on him. So, um, of course, that got leaked and exposed. That was from 2021. My question, I'm, I'm saying all this to say, this big group, nobody's safe. Big Mr. Beast, everybody's having issues with people in their camp. I say all this to say this. How do y'all feel about these people making these these life changing mistakes in a sense? Um, that they're unaware when they're doing it in a sense. And what's the best way to handle those situations? And I know like I know not to pick on you, Bash, but Bash, you're the streamer. So for example, if you had a situation with You're not picking on me, I know what she's saying. Yeah, like beauty streamer and you had somebody a part of your team that made a mistake, how would you go about it? Because for this exam, this this is twofold because the way it was responded to by the public and the way they responded by the team was two things and a lot went went on or whatever the case may be. And Shatika, you went off camera to eat your glizzy. That's tough. Um, <laughs> I ain't gonna say I had a nice rebuttal for that one. But go ahead, go ahead. Um. Because this is rough. <clears throat> All right. So I don't. I'm not basing it off of like just. You know the amp you know what i mean yeah. i i when it comes to i listen i joined this space in 2020 but from the time that i joined this space i've learned very quickly like there's a lot of weirdos mm. that uh i don't know what it is but there's definitely a lot of weirdos when it comes to like content creating filming it's always been that way i ain't even gonna say it's content creating. guys behind the film guys by the camera you know, guys who create, it's just weirdos, bro. It, it's 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 like the creators be weirdos. The guys who, I don't know, it's, it's going, it's a lot, going, it's more than just AMP. It's a lot of different groups, a lot of different things, a lot of pedo. Mr. Beast went through some issues too. Yeah, a lot of pedo stuff going on, man. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to Vitaly, man. You know what I mean? Get you the pedos on a daily. Oh, you know what I mean? Stream out of it. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of that going on, man. I, I, it, I, it's it's bigger than just it's bigger than what we what it is is cameras and things of that nature. But it's, this is a problem that's been going on forever. So you know what I mean? From when we growing up, you know that man. Some of the guys we look look up to are some of the guys that we know. You know what I mean? They in front of high school and they too old to be in front of junior high school. You know what I mean? So this ain't nothing new. Like you know I mean, it's just being broadcast now like you get to see it it's on camera everybody can screenshot their phone you know conversations mm -hmm. and stuff man everything so, social media now everything everything coming out yeah we got some we got some problems you know what i mean i ain't gonna lie we got some real sick problems with ourselves that we need to you know get under control man you know what i mean i ain't gonna lie look five earlier you played Mwanda. <laughs> that's great that's tough. So, like, so, you're petty. <laughs> so you're petty if you watch Disney. Movie? Out of all that's the what movies you, you couldn't pick, that's a grown ass man who made us watch Moana. <laughs> so when you ask, you know, when you ask Hop, you know, saying Bash, you know, you a streamer. How do you feel if it was somebody in your camp? He actually told about you right now, bro. Yeah. How you well, it's crazy because it makes it does make like it makes me feel weird, like you know, dealing with kids on a day to day. You know what I mean? It kind of pits like because it makes it, it makes people be like, hold on, is he a weirdo too? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, a lot of 14, you know, 13 year old, eight year olds all the time hang around and, you know, come and play and, you know, we associate and, but it, you just never know who's who. So it does pit like a kind of like stale 
Still tasting your mouth pores, no, no ditty. Damn, Drake, I heard you like me young. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. <laughs> this this pedo stuff is getting out of hand, man. And, and I ain't gonna lie. I don't understand it. I it needs don't. to be. No, I understand it. The I understand. Girls are gullible, man. The I, I, young ones are gullible. No, you know what? I I have to I have to say this, and it needs to be said. And I'm gonna continue to say it. You are if you know somebody that's a pedo, and you be like, "Well, that's my man." He and you holding him down. You you're a, you're a sucker. Yeah, you a sucker. Like even if he not a pedo, I don't want to say, but he a sucker, and that's been going on forever. You know what I mean? We never look at the people next to us we never hold people accountable we always talking about us minorities or whatever the case or i don't even want to say because it's not just a minority problem but yeah. we always trying to you know what i mean say what we got to get correct and we be looking the other way when it's right it's right there like i know so many i've disconnected myself with people that i felt were on that type of time in a lot of different ways well they might have been aggressive with women they might have put their hands on women they might have been pedos. I've moved away from people like that on purpose because I don't want to associate myself. With but that's why you're not a pedo. But if you a pedo, if you if you if you know a friend that is a yes. pedo and you that and you're their friend still, yeah, I don't give a fuck. You're a pedo. If you know about what they're doing, that's great. And you're not saying <laughs> nothing, and you're not stopping it. Guilty by you're association. Not, you're, you're a pedo, bro. I don't give a fuck. Guilty by association. But you know, it's crazy because I think the older I get, the worse it gets for me. Like what? Like in a sense, meaning the more the older I get, I look at like because I got hit like daughters and stuff like that, and I look at like men that be like having them huge age gaps and messing with the younger women to be eighteen, nineteen. I look at it completely different as I get older now compared to like when I was twenty nine, you know, whatever the whatever the case may be, and I I just don't get it, especially when you're in a position of being around beautiful women all the time and you have options now nah, see but if you are of age i ain't really thinking you're a pedo because you they maybe she like 22 and you like 30 something no, no well but it's i still, ain't really mad at you bro no but if it, it becomes an issue when you target it because then that that age can lower in a sense you get what i'm saying like when you're targeting 19 18 year olds you get what i'm so saying like versus question. what i got a question hold on hold on hold on hello Money Man stated a fact. He said, "Growing up at NY, old niggas at the high school was a regular thing." That's a fact. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I said. I, I said. I said that. I said that. Like that is that. Sacred Heart. So <laughs> Sacred so Heart. I got a question though. It's disgusting, what, man. When do like I know like we all know what a pedo is, yeah. But what about the dudes that track these females from the age of when they was? 16 and now they they hit legal and now they want to fuck with them but you've been their that's the same. friend that's or targeted. you've been yeah that's what i'm saying so okay okay so that's what you, that's, that's what, what i mean like that's that yeah that's targeting like you literally waiting for her to turn 18 they be like i want that you know where to, that's nasty, you know it's bro. wrong you know it's wrong so you're waiting till it's okay that's fucking yeah, listen, disgusting this should nasty work right but it could have been simple for this kid now i mean for him to get caught up Know what I'm saying? Like, know what I mean? Cause, cause, yo, this is a fact. Know what I'm saying? Females, girls be lying about their age all the time. Know what I'm saying? What he fucked up at was when she told him, nigga, I'm such and such age, and you kept talking to her. Yeah, know what that's I'm saying? crazy. After he that, it should have been crazy on You should have cut ties. It should have been over. You should have, it should have been no communication. Yeah, your feelings, you gotta let that shit go, bro. You, know you gotta take the L. But the but wild he, joint about this, and I'm saying is I seen I seen Kyle John. I'm saying when he was talking about this joint. And the and the whack shit about this was you could tell that this shit genuinely like bothered. Like like it genuinely fucked him up. You know what I'm saying? Like like damn, this is my man and I gotta cut this nigga type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you could see it in the joint in the video when he did the joint. You could see it, he was genuinely, his emotions, in my opinion, was genuine when it came to this, you know what I'm saying? And you could tell it genuinely bothered him. And he was tight over this shit, you know what I'm saying? And salute to him and respect to him for taking that stand and being like, yo, listen, I'm not fucking with him no more. I'm not doing anything with him no more. I'm not working with him no more. I'm, that's dope. 
so question do we think at, like is there any way people like this like how if we had somebody had a drinker problem we'll send them to an AA program to get help mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your man, your family, or whatever the case may be. And it'd be one of those situations like, yo, if you don't stop drinking, I'm cutting you. I'm not fucking with you. you not family until you get right. You know what I'm saying? Can this, uh, uh, a petty or a pedo, can a pedo go get help and get right and be right back into, like, your friendship? Or no. is it is it different? It's different. It's a myth. It's a... Yeah, for me, nah, I'm good on that. I'm saying it's like, a, it's a mental. It's hard to change what somebody like, right? If I like, if I'm, if I like games and whatever, and I got a, you know, a, an addiction or whatever, and I don't see it as hurting me, especially my my mental, it's hard to change that. Even with a drug, in a sense, it's hard to change that person or what they like, in a sense, and this is no different to that, right? So, he was well aware of his actions. Like if you see those texts. I can't show him, but if you see the text after she literally said, because she, because it started off, I don't know if you know the full situation, but it started off no. that he, she thought she was nineteen, mm-hmm. and then she came out and said, "Nah, I'm 17. and then the text after that got crazy, like I'm gonna slap you in your face with this and that, da da da, I'm gonna spit it. It was crazy. So no, I get all that, but I'm talking about Adam. I'm saying if this man go gets help. Can he what be is, what is it? Ha- it got to be yeah, counseling. Look, it's look. counseling for everything. Look, Stan, he, he pointed out a good fact. He said, yo, it was weird, though, because she was 17. In some states, that would have been perfectly fine. In some states, that's legal. So is this more of a moral thing? You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. I mean, I think this comes down to the fact that nigga in his state, nigga, is not legal. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that's another thing. Yeah, we got a problem with following rules. Not to mention, yo... This is, see, look, I will say earlier, you know, that was a key point. Kyle was hurt about this. And I hate talking about AMP so much because I know they don't like doing all the bad publicity. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. But you, you, when you next to somebody and you claim you they mans, and he's with Kyle all the time, like, you know, a lot. You know what I mean? You, you build a relationship with somebody. You know what I mean? You build a rapport with them, a core with them. He's been around for so long. You have to take accountability for saying, hey, even, you know, I, I don't want to do this because it's going to hurt Kai. Hmm. That's my man. He's, a you know, he's in a spotlight. You know, it's like he didn't even care about Kai. Yeah, that's because you point. know with this type of publicity, if this comes to the light, it could ruin what Kai's situation got going on. In a sense, you know what I mean. So, it's it's deeper than just him being a petty. It's like, yo, you you ain't shit. He's fucking up the business now. Yo, you ain't you 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 yo. I thought you was my man. You didn't got me wrapped up in something to where now when companies and executives Google, I'm attached to that. Yep. You know what I mean, and and that's f- effed up. So just as well as the petties, you know what I mean? Yeah. The Peter. What, right? what, what if on, what on. if my fool, hold on. Yeah. What if which I don't think he did, H O, know what I'm saying? But what if he had a conversation with Kai about this previous? You know what I'm saying? And that happened already spoke on. That happens all the time, and then the media gets it late. That happens so much. Right. You know what I mean? But he still I, gotta let you go. But he's no, still no, but has what to- I'm saying is no no, but what I'm saying is it, so if if that was to happen now, I don't think that happened. But I'm just saying, yeah. if that was the case, would it now? Would you put some blame on Kai as well? See, that's enough. See, that's where it comes into play. Like, yo, now you didn't got me into some bullshit because right. you came to me. You told me you supposed to be my man, and I got to deal with this now. You could go say, but I told him, and now it get messy. Yeah, right. yeah which but it is depends, it foul. depends what you told him. Did yeah. you tell him you was going to stop? Right. Or did you tell him about Shorty? But it still, make Kyle look, it still make yeah, him yeah, look still bad. Yeah, it still make him look bad, though. Because now he it, knew it, about it and he look, didn't. Because it goes to the same point that you just pointed out earlier. That, that, that's what I'm saying. saying. You got to let that I'm saying, you're supposed to let you him go. If you know a nigga on that type of time and you still keep him around yeah. and that's your man, then you just as bad as he is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
but so don't know what he don't know what he doing. My thing is, don't know. What, I'm not saying this is what happened, but don't know what he's doing behind the scenes, and don't make a big deal out of it. But wait for it to hit international, and then it's oh, I gotta make the statement because I don't want to be a part of that. You right. should, but that happens should, all the, the time. The wild thing, that's the, the wild part. thing about the wild thing about this is like what Bash was saying. Like yo, yo, scrap you as like. You know certain things, and you know in the position that you win, you know this internet shit is savage. Mm -hmm. Like, you know this shit is savage, Scrap. You know they constantly looking for some sort of something yep. to throw on a nigga, pin on a nigga, put on a nigga, anything. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? They have been doing it the car for, for a minute already. Know what I'm saying? So why would you, like Bad Shad, why would you stand next to that man knowing what you know, knowing what's up, Know what I'm saying, and knowing this come, this gonna come with the set with the internet. You know back. this coming yeah. to the light sooner yeah. or later. Yeah, that's the part that's effed up. You know what I mean? Now here's the part that kill it. Now I know a lot of y'all go. You know what I mean? Y'all not with that, but in the you know in 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 in, in you know in the space the you know the world with you know with everybody, forgiveness is acceptable to you know what I mean to an audience to some. So like if Kai did put him in a program and try to help him out, I think people would definitely praise Kai for that. Like, yo, you tried to help him. You know what I mean? Now I don't know whether he would be able to work with him again, but it would still be like, yo, that's my man. I put him in a joint. I ain't working with him, no. I can't, you know what I mean? But I did help him out. You know what I mean? So that would actually make Kai look like a super good guy. Like I'm glad you went back to that because that's one of my biggest things. And, and maybe it's because the field that I'm in, but mm. I see a lot of people come get help and become better people. There's people that make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? It is such thing as mistakes. You do something and you never do it again. So now if he has a track record of a bunch of females or he got like five or 10 different little young joints, that's nasty. If yeah, this I don't was think his he only change, one, though. I mean, you, but you never, we don't know. We don't yeah, know. Yeah, we don't you know. know what I'm yeah, 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 you're but right. It, but he's, he's still, how old is he? He's what? 26 um, now? 26, 27 now? He's still young, man. Yeah, yeah, you can't write him off. I think Yo, that's he another got a whole thing. life ahead of This him. is why I don't like the cancer culture thing. But we don't have no other answer to deal with it, so it's like, yo, you got to cancel the light. You yeah, but, to, but 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 he's he's still a child, like he still has growing up to do. He has lessons. He has everybody make mistakes, and ain't nobody in this motherfucking chat or anybody on any right, of our streams right now yeah, perfect, bro. Yeah. So for people to be canceling people out like that, like yo, you gotta look at your own your own closet, your own demons of the shit you did. Yeah, because we all you yeah. still the same. No, nah, but yeah. that's hold on, killer. But that's different though. Right or wrong is 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 you doing something right or doing something wrong is different than morally knowing no no i get like, it wall i'm not going against that me, but i'm that's saying two totally different no, this but, ain't like yo i stole from the store i stole a bag of chips no nah, but i'm yo, saying well but after now, after what? this happened what all right so after this happened and what if he never does it again <laughs> you know what i'm saying what if this ain't he never ever does this again but 60 years later he never did the mistake that he did now he never revisited this. But maybe Do we it took, still put that on maybe, him? But maybe it took for a nigga to be like, yo, I'm not fucking with you. Right. No, 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 no. That's right. No, no. That's that, perfect. Hold on. For you to make that change. Know what I'm saying? How but, about if mm -hmm. he doesn't change because you accept him and you try to help him out and he continues on that path? No, let's, but let's go the way that you say. Let's, let's go... We 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 stop fucking with him. Boom, cut off because you did what you did. <laughs> you got hit with that message. You got hit with that life lesson. And moving forward, because you must have lost everything or whatever the fuck it was, you never did that again. Do we cancel him? That's what I'm saying. He went, got the help. He's I don't like that cancel shit. But but when but you gotta cancel once you say you don't forgive. Nah, you don't know. You ain't gotta cancel nothing. You can not fuck with them on a business tip or a personal level. It has nothing to do with canceling. Nah, but no, no, I'm canceling. talking that about forgiveness. Yeah, forgiveness. That... Stop with everything else. Okay. Yeah. Forgiveness. Can this man ever be forgiven? On are a personal still, level, that's for them to work out. To... Yes. On a personal level, you you he got help. On a personal level, they could probably be cool, talk, whatever. But you, 
as far as business and what he was looked at is and how close, no, that's ruined. That's never yeah, going to be that. Hold on, but how are you supposed to say business. you're not down with canceling? That's what canceling is. Like, yo, you ain't in that position no more. It's over. Man. You're done. That's what cancel culture is, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it's over for you. You don't I, have I a second chance. That's what. Okay. That's the definition of cancel culture. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't agree with cancel culture. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But... We don't have no other way to deal with you, to be honest. So it's like, hey, man, you a pedo, bro. Gotta get done. Gotta get you out. You got to get you out of here. It is what it is. But Killer is, he has some valid points that that I think we, you know, uh, there are people that do can change. Now, it's tough, though. I, I don't, like, War too. War has some valid points, too. I, I, I think that it's circumstances. Like, how much do you want to change? How much are you willing to show the world that you change? You know what I mean? How much are you willing to really, you know what I mean? I, I don't know what that answer is, though. I'm not going to lie to y'all guys. I don't have to cancel for that. Yeah, so. And to make matters worse, right? So we get in the midst of all this drama. And I like I said, I know I was bringing in AMP or whatever. But Complex reported it incorrectly. So we already talked about how this can affect somebody, right? So they have a Chris inside of AMP. His name is Chris Next Door. He's actually a streamer. He's an actual member, right? Sorry, they mixed him up. I'm not talking to you, Siri. They mixed him up with the cameraman, which effectively can affect him, even though he had nothing to do with it. Yep, that's when my lawyer had been involved. I would have that, a lawsuit easy. Well, listen, <laughs> and that's, that's <laughs> tough. You know what I'm saying? So, again, mm-hmm. when with the cancel culture, this is where, like, that cancel culture could go left, Real quick, he got fired. The, the person got fired though. from yeah. me, yeah. Um, from complex, the person from complex, yeah. yeah. When, the, when, the, when the editor, when the chief editor found out about the situation, it's yeah, time to go. Yeah. They're yeah, trying I to mean, avoid that lawsuit, <laughs> corrective it, action no immediately because that can that can affect him because that, that negative headline. So, let's say Chris had Chris next door has some deals on the table at that time, right? Or whatever he got going on, they was like, Oh, whoa, whoa, and they got. They got rid of him in that instance because we don't know what happened behind closed doors. That that's uh, what do they call that? Um, where you bash a person's character? What is that called? Slander. <laughs> um, no, it's uh, defamation of character. Slander. Defamation of character. I was about to say we look at that shot day. <laughs> yeah, I had to fix it. Defam- yeah. Defamation of character. That's that's the utmost defamation. That shit could ruin Chris. Like that's defamation of character the utmost. He had nothing to do with nothing. This situation tied to him. They even they got the name wrong and then say AKA. <laughs> right? They say Chris V, which was the actual cameraman, then said AKA Chris next door. Yeah, so, I think that's the, that's just a matter of you know, uh, not doing your. I mean, look, we spoke diligence. about this, right? We spoke about this when 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 the Trump joint was going mm-hmm. on. Know what I mean. People dropping the ball, people not doing the, doing the work. You know what I'm saying? Which is this just comes this just comes down to yo, listen, I want to be the first one to get the yep, story that's out. It. That's it. I want to get the Propaganda, clicks and I want to get the views and I want to get the eyes and the ears, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get it out, we're gonna get it out. Let's get it out. You know what I'm saying? And you don't do your proper research, your proper due diligence, you know what I'm saying? And shit like this happen. Which I'm we te- you know I mean? which yeah, which we tend to do. I don't know what's going on with us as, as the last 10 years, but it's getting real bad. Nobody wants to work. I don't know if this internet got us going crazy, like we're saying, for likes and clicks, but nobody wants oh, to do the work, bro. We just want to quick pop it up, boom, boom, boom. Chris is a first re- ones. Right. Chris is a really good dude. He don't bother nobody. He's not into that stuff. He's not a media whore. You don't care about it. You can tell you you see it. His personality on camera and what type of what he represents. And that's fucked up, pardon my language. Yeah. That is really, really messed cool up. Dude. Yeah, that's, that was super funny. You know what I mean? You know, and, and and that goes to show you complex, man. I ain't even rocking with y'all complex. I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't like stuff like that, bro. And that's not the first time that happened with complex. So as far as I'm concerned, complex, I don't care about your list. I don't care nothing, man. I don't think you. I don't think you rocking with black folks, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You got giving us a bad name, minorities. You giving us a bad name. F complex. That's just my opinion. That's how I feel about it, bro. And I don't even be talking negative about, but that's that's terrible right there, bro. Yeah, 